If you need to add 5 eighths plus 7 sixteenths, here's how you do it. What we want to do is get a common denominator. So if these numbers are the same, then we can just add the numerators, bring this across, and we're done. Why don't we do this? Why don't we say 2 times 8? Because 2 times 8 is 16. We have 16 over here. But we can't just multiply the denominator by a number. We need to multiply that numerator by the same number. That's because 2 over 2, which is 2 divided by 2, is 1. So multiplying by 1 doesn't change the value, just the way it's represented. So now we have 2 times 5, that's 10. And 2 times 8, that's 16. And 10 sixteenths, that's the same as 5 eighths. They're equivalent. They have the same value. Now we add our 7 sixteenths here. And we can just take, because we have the common denominator, we can add the numerators. 10 plus 7, that's 17. And then bring the 16 across and we have 17 sixteenths. That's what you get when you add 5 eighths plus 7 sixteenths. This is an improper fraction though. The numerator here is bigger than the denominator. Let's change it to a mixed number. 16 goes into 17, so 1 times 16 is 16, and we'd have 1 left over. Bring that 16 across, and we're done. So 1 and 1 sixteenths, that's equal to 17 sixteenths, and that's equal to 5 eighths plus 7 sixteenths. You can even check this. 1 times 16 is 16. 16 plus 1 is 17. That's the 17, and we just kept that the same. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.